Hey, welcome to match number two. This is... Acceptable. I don't think I'd... I don't think I'd give it higher ratings than acceptable, but... Um, eh. Let's see. Depends on what he's got. Mox Opal, please. Would be great. Um, hmm. Do you think I want the land? Mm. Like to resolve the plating while I still can. I think I will clear the blocker here. Since this will get me four more damage. Um... Prioritizing the regular damage, but there's no reason not to get the Ink Moth damage as well. Prioritizing regular because I have the extra 4 damage reach of Galvanic Blast, and I think it's more likely overall that I get there with that kind of damage. Also because the cranial plating won't fall off the Ravager at end of turn. This actually opens him up to losing a land, since he doesn't get to Rampant Growth, since I get to eat it. That might throw off his calculations enough for him to die. Let's see. Um, yes, I do want to cast Ravager. And attack. Eat that, cast Mox Opal. He could still have a Mana Leak or something like that, or a Negate. So I'm going to wait for him to cast a Tap Out, and then in response, now he doesn't have the Mana to do anything that prevents him from dying. Alright, uh, so let's see. Etch Champion, we liked. Grids, we liked. Ravagers, not so crazy about. Um... I think I have a higher probability of getting my opponent with blood moons on the on the uh, the play. So when I'm on the draw, I'll not take them. Galvanic Blast is nice reach, but I don't think I'll be able to go for the reach plan as much in game two. Uh, run it like that. Do 
The Ravagers were good in that game, admittedly. If this had one land, I'd be happy with it. Or one more zero drop. As it is, I don't think I can keep it. This hand is decidedly mediocre. I will keep a Thoughtseize, though. I'm just going to run the slower Gambit, but play around him having um, Stony Silence in his hand. Ceremonious Reject and Gideon in the Trials, Supreme Verdict. Oh, that's annoying. Ceremonious Rejection. All right. Well, that's one less Stony Silence I have to deal with. I was hoping to bait out the uh, Ceremonious Rejection with the Signal Pest, but alas, it is not to be. I think I'm probably end up going to end up saving the Steel Overseer for after the Supreme Verdict. Um, I guess I just let him kill my Blink Moth. That's what's going to happen. Didn't want to run that into rejection. This doesn't matter now. He missed a land. He has stony silence. I'm aware that if he hits a land next turn... Uh, I get super punished for this, but honestly, if he's casting Verdict and still has a grip full of cards, I don't think I can win. I'm just too far behind. Uh, since my draw was slow, he has a Stony Silence and uh, etc, etc. So I'm just running this out now because I, I need to have him stubble on land for a couple more turns and then win because of that. So now he's going to kill the Blink Moth, then he untaps and verdicts, and then I'm pretty fucked. Ugh. You know, maybe Field of Ruin is an argument for um, Arcbound Ravagers, just so I can sacrifice my Manlands and prevent him from getting uh, more basics. But that seems kind of loose. All right. Supreme Verdict. I lose all that. Play a Ravager. Zero point. Not really. He has five cards, including a Rejection and a Gideon. I don't, I don't think I can beat Gideon by itself at this point, to be honest. Hmm. If I draw another land, and I can somehow kill Gideon, or... Get him to a point with Gideon low enough so that I can play grid and kill Gideon. And another Supreme Verdict. If he goes for another attack with Gideon, and I draw land, and he has nothing, and I resolve the grid, then I can kill the Gideon, 
Maybe crawl back from there. Hmm. Yes, a non citadel land does put me in okay shape. Perfect. Please resolve. This gets leaked, then I'm definitely out of it. Alright. Um, pretty dead. Get some blood moons in. Take out an overseer. Take out the other galvanic blast. I don't like that. A bit heavy on three drops and light on these two drop payoffs, but eh. It's pretty bad against Stony Silence, but I think I'm going to keep it anyways. Millions, so that's hopeful. Keeps scratch to the top. So what do I do next turn? If he doesn't stony silence me. If he doesn't stony silence me, I probably play spire, play grid. I'm getting stony silenced. Okay. Oh. Get in there, one ones, get in there. I'm never going to get there with damage from the ink, mo ink moth, so there's no point. Running out the cranial plating does serve the practical purpose of when I resolve Aether Grid, it does more damage. I don't want to get the Ink Moth killed by something. I would rather it happen to one of these things so I can get the third land for Gear Up Earth Grid. Like if I attack with the Ink Moth and he has a Resto Angel, it's just a complete disaster and he's likely to have Resto Angels in his deck because he's playing Wall of Omens. See? Deck base planned. Uh, 
block that, and then he's gonna path the Volt Scourge. I don't think I'm going to be able to play around counter spells next turn. Oh, he's pathing his own Wall of Omens. That's interesting. He probably wants to be able to activate Colonnades or Wrath the board or play Big Gideon. Well, Edge Champion actually gets around um, the Gideon, so he's going to have to have a Supreme Verdict now. Uh, so he plus, so that has to attack Gideon Jura, and that has to attack Gideon Jura. It's a mistake of him not to plus on uh, the Steelovers here, then he could block it and keep his Snapcaster, and then the Verdict, and I'm never going to beat two Gideons. All right, well, 1-1 one, one against blue-white control. 